Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Americans who are fully vaccinated will soon need to get an extra booster shot against COVID-19. That is a recommendation this morning from the health leaders. President Joe Biden says the United States will give out about 100,000 COVID vaccine booster shots this fall. He says it is up to shore up Americans protection against that rapidly spreading Delta variant. The plan calls for an extra dose eight months after folks get their second shot. We will increase your protection from COVID-19. That's the best way to protect ourselves from new variants that could arise. The FDA still needs to approve the plan when and if that happens. The first booster shots will go to people in high priority groups starting next month. Local nursing homes say that they want to find out more about President Biden's mandate that staff members have to be vaccinated or risk losing their federal funding. Health and Human Services will oversee compliance. It's the first time the government has issued a vaccine mandate of any kind for non-federal employees. According to the Alabama Nursing Home Association, they are studying the plan and quote, once we have those details, we will help our members understand and implement the requirement, unquote. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson designating this week Health Care, Prayer and Appreciation Week. Mayor Stimson presenting the proclamation to Mobile Infirmary. It asked faith leaders and the community to show their appreciation to medical workers fighting against COVID-19. We're asking you to please lift up all of our frontline health care workers along with their families and all of those who support them. In addition, the city of Mobile is asking all local churches and houses of worship to toll their bells for one minute at noon each day during the week as a reminder to all citizens that we must unite to defeat COVID-19. Healthcare, Prayer and Appreciation Week will run through Wednesday, August 25th. Hurricane Grace heads to Mexico's Caribbean coastal areas now and causes early evacuations and shelter preparations. Eastern coastal communities are bracing for Grace's arrival. Authorities are also evacuating low-level hotels there that were not made to withstand hurricanes. Merchants are also taking precautions to safeguard their businesses. Shelters are also open. The region has about 130,000 tourists despite the coronavirus pandemic. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. A few showers and storms are located west of Biloxi and are lifting from south to north, but the overall viewing area is currently dry before 430 in the morning, but we will end up dealing with more showers and storms popping up with the heating of the day, just like we saw yesterday. So you'll have to be on the lookout for those. Keep the rain gear nearby. And as always, we like to remind you when thunder roars, you want to go indoors. The pattern is going to be staying very soupy and humid across the Gulf Coast the next several days. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed the difference when you step outside compared to how it felt when we were on the back edge of Fred. We are no longer dealing with that unseasonably low humidity. August air back with a vengeance. Highs today will once again be in the 90s with heat index values in the triple digits. Grace, a category one hurricane with winds of 80 miles per hour moving west at 17 and arriving in Cozumel. We are going to see Grace move into central Mexico by late Friday night into Saturday morning as once again a category one hurricane will then quickly weaken back to a tropical storm. No issue for the central Gulf Coast. Henri becomes a hurricane by tomorrow and will then lift north across the Atlantic waters and will scoot near the northeast coast, but no direct impact to the U.S. mainland, which is good news. We still have a ways to go before the hurricane season's over and traditionally September is more active than August. We check out the weather headlines for this Thursday. It's very humid this morning and it's going to be hot with storms later this afternoon and then in the long range it's going to be more of the same. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast where showers and storms will be an issue throughout the course of the morning. For some of you, heavy rain and lightning, the main culprits we will see those forming in random spots. Once we get into the afternoon, we will start to see the showers shifting farther inland and then fizzling out once the sun goes down. Here's a look at how the next seven days stack up the highs in the mid to low 90s every afternoon. It will feel like the triple digits mornings will be in the mid 70s and the rain and storm coverage expected to be 30 to 40% every day from today all the way through 
the middle of next week. We'll keep you updated on your forecast throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.